Hello and welcome back friends. We've been talking about evolutionary biology for CBSC class 12 and NEET exam preparation. In this video we are going to talk about the term adaptive radiation. Many students find it very confusing because it's not explained in a simple manner. So I'm trying to explain adaptive radiation in the simplest possible form. So what is adaptive radiation? To understand adaptive radiation you need to know the concept of evolution. The concept of evolution states that organisms that we can see now that are present surrounding us all of them share a common ancestor that's how evolution works so common ancestor and the properties that are there whether it be molecular property or morphological property or anatomical property that is present in that ancestor and slowly from that ancestor it diverges diverge means producing different organisms having little unique properties that's why we call them different species but they no longer is exactly the same as the uh, precursor uh, as, as the uh, common ancestor but a little different so let me tell you few things let me tell you one very easy way to explain this let's say this is the common ancestor and this common ancestor has uh, let's say I it has you know we are talking about a hypothetical organism no not a, a real organism so it has eye it has it has hand and it has the leg now this is a very basic organism now from this common ancestor uh, different versions and different uh, it diverge into different organism different species now the species number one that that formed here uh, the s1 let's say the species number one and species number two now why we call them species 1 and 2 because they are separate and they the species 1 member and species 2 member they never interbreed means they never involve in uh, uh, breeding between themselves okay so it's not possible right that's why we call them different species but now this this s2 it has all the features like the common ancestor that means it has the eye let's say uh, it has red eye in the common ancestor s2 also has a red eye it also has the hand it also has uh, the leg along with that it has antenna like you know antenna that we can see in the insects mostly so that is present in s2 and in S1, it has blue eye, it has hand, it has leg. So these are the two different species. Why we are calling it two different species now? Because you can see it very clearly that the common ancestor has red eye, it has hand and leg. Now if you compare S1 and S2, all of them, they have this eye, hand and leg. That is kind of true. But in S1, it has blue eye instead of red eye. So something is unique to S1. So that's why it is a different one, different organism now. S2, it also has a red eye, hand, leg, but it has a totally new property of the antenna, which is unique for S2. Now this, what we can say is that this is a general idea of evolution for S1 and S2. They share a common ancestor. So you'll find similarity between S1 and S2, but differences between them as well. So this is an idea of adaptive radiation. Adaptive radiation is where all the organisms that we see, here we only talk about two, but there might be 10, 20 different organisms, all of which are produced from one stock common ancestor, stock organism. And this is this common ancestor here. And now let's talk about a real life example. The real life example we can talk about here are the marsupials, okay? The marsupials, Marsupials are the type, the very common type is the kangaroo that you all know. Now the marsupial stalk is uh, present and the marsupial stalk give rise to almost uh, 10, 12 different types of organisms. And among them, let me tell you a few of the examples. Kangaroo obviously, uh, kangaroo obviously is the primary type which is very common. Then it also produced koala, okay. I hope I spell it right, K or C, I don't remember correctly. Uh, it has kangaroo, it has koala, it has the tiger cat and it has the anteater and many more. But these are the very uh, common types that are all formed from the marsupial stock. So why we call it adaptive radiation? Let's break this sentence down, uh, uh, this word down actually. Adaptive means all the organisms that are produced 
from the ancestor they are produced little differently because of their adaptation to survive and fit well to their surrounding environment right because evolution always favors and natural selection always favors uh, the most fit organism to their environment so all these organisms they need to do little changes in their habit their structures morphology to better suited and adapted to their surrounding environment so that is known as adaptive and radiation because they are radiated from a common ancestor they radiated from a stock member which is present in the center so that is known as adaptive radiation it's like a cycle and cycle wheel let's consider this as a cycle wheel and all the spokes are connected to the center that the same thing here adaptive radiation so the the center of the spoke is uh, the center which helps the wheel to keep rotating that is the stock and all the spokes uh, at the end of the spoke we have all the organisms uh, which are originated from the common ancestor we just saw the example in this case so this is adaptive radiation now the question is how exactly the adaptive radiations possible and what are the proof that the adaptive radiations are there first of all let's assume a story the story is uh, we are talking about a big island let's say this is island and in this island there are species a species a is present in the island now species a start flying it's a bird species start flying to another adjoining island a little distance apart from the first island in the second island the species a goes and they start to colonize there now let's assume in the first island there are seeds for the fruit so this birds eat seed of a food and the fruit seed is hard so uh, the bird need to have a very strong beak to crack the seed open so all the birds living here they have a beak something like this very very strong and hard now while they are moving to the island number 2 here they find insects insects so they don't need this very strong beak to eat insect they need very tiny and thin but sharp beak to eat insects so what happens there is that all those uh, they are adapted to the environment to become adapted to the environment you will see a new species to be generated and now let's call the species b who has the beak thin and sharp okay so now in the second island you only find species b to be present so ancestor was species a but from ancestor we produce a new species that is b why is a new species because b can no longer reproduce with a because they are separated geographically okay so here b is formed from a so it's kind of uh, a is the center and b at the end of one spoke similarly you know a may also fly into another island from there the big may be changed to something else a new species may also form let's call it a c so the same thing it may happen in all these cases from the a it can produce b c d different species different variations are generated so this is the idea of uh, adaptive radiation now the second question how do you know adaptive radiations actually happen now the answer to that is very simple you can easily check whether the adaptive radiations are possible or not because if you compare the the anatomy of human human hand and bird's wing bat as well as flipper of a well in all those cases there are different species we all are different species well is a different species bird is a different species uh, the whole set of bird let's take a parrot there's a different species human uh, is a totally different species bat is totally different type so in all this case there is a similarity in the anatomy of the bone because all the number of bones and the type of the bones the sequence the bones are present are exactly the same but the function of all this are different because we are adapted to our environment to do the function birds need that to fly where uh, whales need that to swim and we need that uh, for various tasks for example i am explaining things holding things and stuff so here it's a interesting idea so this is a evidence of this adaptive radiation because all of us birds whales humans we are connected to a common ancestor we are all originated from a common ancestor so we are connected uh, and we can easily explain this with the anatomical structures okay so 
these organs which have structural similarities but the functions are different are known as homologous organs and homologous organs and which is also known as the comparative anatomy are the proof are the evidences of adaptive radiation so i hope i am able to answer your question regarding the adaptive radiation if you like this video definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that thank you